Hey guys, welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. I'm Jake, and today we finally got the call. The asphalt millings are coming. They could be coming as soon as tomorrow um, or as late as Monday, but they'll be here in the next few days. Um, so that means that I need to get the wood yard up in order and organized and stuff moved around. That way I can make room for about eight triaxle loads of asphalt millings to be dumped right here where that wood pile is behind me. Um, I also have a log pile of oak logs behind the camera. I have all these IBC totes from the last video that I made. Got to get everything organized. That way we can make room for the millings. Like I mentioned, they're going to be doing about eight loads back here in the wood yard area right here. And then probably four to six more along the driveway area um, leading out to the actual driveway of the property. Um, so I got my work cut out for me. It's about 90 degrees. Humidity is about the same. It's pretty hot and miserable out, but I think we can get it all done. All right, so first things first, we got to get this last little bit of round split up. Um, this was from the last time I was splitting and cutting. Just never got around to uh, splitting them up. So we got to get that done. But before I split that, we need to cut an IBC tote, one of the faces out of it. That way I have something to stack it into. Luckily, I have my Milwaukee battery powered uh, grinder here with a freshly charged up battery. So it should make quick work of that. and everything and getting them down and out of the way for Shane um, 
for when he spreads is that I'm going to clear out, leave this whole side of the wood yard basically open, put all the full totes on this very far edge because ultimately they are going to reside on the very edge of the road here. Um, I made the road wider on purpose. That way I could just stack them all along one edge. Um, that way I wouldn't get bound up with certain ones behind other ones. Um, I'm hoping that for now, this will be plenty of room. It's about 215 feet, I think we measured, is the road, like from these two trees all the way out to the driveway. Um, so that should be plenty of room to stack a bunch of totes for now, and they'll be out of the way of this work area. So, um, yeah, so Shane will start spreading out the big pile that'll be here. He'll spread all over here. He'll spread down the road. And then once the road is spread, I will pick up the totes and move them to their final drying resting location. And then he'll be able to continue, or I might just have to finish up with the tractor or the Cormiti, um, spreading out the last bit of millings in this, you know, little strip here on the edge of the clearing. But that's the game plan for now. Um, so I'm gonna get this tote out of the way, make some room. All right, guys, so as you can see, things are looking a lot better. I just moved the Rugged Made RS737 over in line with all the other totes. Um, last thing we got to do is take off the pallet forks, throw on the bucket in the background, scoop up the rest of these cutoffs and shards and sawdust and stuff, get it as neat as possible. Um, Cause this is probably like exactly where they're going to be dumping uh, all the loads. Might start a little farther back by where the tractor is. Um, after that, I'm going to pick up the Joe box, move that out of the way, and uh, take all the cutoffs uh, pieces from the IBC totes and the bars from the last video and uh, bring those up to my scrap metal pile. And I will bring those to the scrap metal place when the time is right. Um, other than that, I think we're looking pretty good. Um, oh, I do have to bring these uh, bladders up to my truck and I'm gonna be bringing them to the recycling dump place tomorrow. Um, so yeah, let's get on the bucket, clean up these shards, and call it a day. The bugs are terrible, the humidity is terrible. I don't know if you can see them flying around my face, but I feel like pig pen over here. So let's hurry this up. Okay, got all that cleaned up. Um, now, since I do have the bucket on, I was thinking I would try and, uh, I don't know, this is kind of a weird angle and the chips are kind of at like a 45 degree to the hill, which goes this way. So it might be a little bit sketchy, but I'm going to see how much of these chips I can drag down from this uh, big pile here and see if I could spread it along this, uh, you know, tapered edge here that was cut into the hill. Um, Cause I don't know exactly when Shane is going to come to spread out the giant pile of millings that's gonna be here. Um, so while I have daylight and time, the bugs are really bad, but I'm gonna try and get some of these things spread. Okay guys, got it spread. Not the best job in the world, but I got the majority of the pile, threw it in a low gear. The tractor crawled right up the hill. Um, it's a little lumpy, but you know what? It'll serve its purpose. It'll start to keep the weeds down. And uh, you know, it's one less thing I have to do moving forward. Um, last thing I gotta do is move the Joe box, but that's pretty self-explanatory. So uh, yeah. I think we are in pretty good shape here. We got plenty of room for the trucks to come in and, uh, you know, dump a bunch of loads back here. Slowly just walking back to give you guys a uh, an idea of the size of the area we're talking about here. Um, so right now I am standing between the maple tree and the white oak tree the very you know beginning of the road and the opening up to the wood yard 
So all that, it's gonna be millings, um, as well as the road behind me. But um, they're gonna start dumping here as long as the trucks can make it back. Pretty dry, so I don't think they should have much trouble. And yeah, next video might be millings. I'm not gonna hold my breath, but uh, could be as soon as tomorrow. So uh, that's gonna wrap this video up. So guys, thanks for watching as per usual. Um, made a lot of progress today. Gonna get the millings in here soon. Um, as I always say, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button down below. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Questions, comments, or feedback, put it in the comments section below. Be sure to share with a friend. We're getting really close to 2,500 subscribers. I'd love to hit 3,000 within like the next two months or something. So let's see if that could happen. 500 subscribers, two months. Share, share, share. Um, and that's it. I'm Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.